Well, Ethan back for another beer review, and today I'm going to be reviewing Wernes Gruner. Wernes Gruner, this is a German Pilsner from Aldi, no less. Um, this brewery started in 1436 in Germany. I believe it was 1436. And in the United Kingdom, the United States, and Australia, they are only sold at Aldi stores. So picked this up at Aldi, $6.99 for a six pack of 11.2 ounce cans. So they, they don't give you that 0.8 ounce that we get here in the States. You know, they jip you that. Best Buy is 4-4-2022, so fresh. Nice to have a date on a beer, finally, that's, that's fresh. Product of Germany, imported by Prestige Beverage Groups, Mendota Heights, Minnesota. 4.9% alcohol by volume. If you can see that, 4.9. Oh, probably not. You can see it, I think. 4.9. Um, German Pilsner. I had a few of the other ones in the six-pack. It's, um, well, let's go ahead and reserve judgments for, for, the, for the camera review. You get a pour in this tall, skinny glass. Pilsner glass generates a lot of head in this glass because it's so narrow. You know, four-finger, but it's almost like a cheap glass for head. You get more than you really generally would. The appearance is very light, like a Bud Light light, Coors Light, Miller Light, very light. Foamy white head, the appearance light, light yellow straw, light golden, kind of in that ballpark. Faint aroma, not a lot of aroma going on, on here. I would kind of maybe Compare this to, you know, maybe Heineken, maybe Stella, maybe uh, Grosch, maybe Bex. It kind of reminds me of, of those, sort of that, you know, Euro Lager Pilsner sort of light, lightness with a, you know, significant little hop. You get a little hop, hop note on the nose, you know, kind of tells you that this is not a, a Budweiser or a Miller High Life or a Pabst. It's got a little little something different, you know, going for it in the nose. Light and faint, but you do detect, you know, just that different hops and malt that they use in, you know, Euro lagers. I assume the ingredients are slightly different than our lagers and pilsners here. Let's go ahead and try to get the rest in there. You know, it's weird because the 11.2 ounce bottle, you can't tell. It, it feels and looks just like a 12 ounce bottle. So it really is kind of, it's kind of shady to sell, you know, a, a, six, a six pack of six, a six pack of 11.2 ounce beers at the same price as a 12, but they look the same, but really you're getting 0.8 times six. I'll do the math. Was that 4.8 ounces? Uh, you're getting that, you know, four point whatever the math comes out to be, you know, less. You're not getting that extra ounceage in the in the Euro lagers, but you know, what can you do? I haven't looked to see if anybody else has reviewed this on YouTube. I imagine they have. It's you know, Aldi is pretty popular grocery store chain here in the U.S. Definitely in Georgia. I know not all states get it. I know uh, Ronald Terrio in Louisiana. I don't think he gets an Aldi because he's he's mentioned before, and some of the other guys that do reviews they've they have Aldis in their states, but I don't believe he has one. So I'm sure John and Nilly in Georgia can get this. Blue Ice can probably get this. Shout out to Blue Ice. Uh, Brian the beer snob. He lives in Georgia too, I believe. He can probably get this. So. Um, you know, maybe a few other people who live in the southeast, except for maybe Louisiana, Texas, that kind of western part, can probably get this Aldi product. But definitely can get it here in Georgia. I got an Aldi, you know, five minutes down the road from me. Let's go ahead and try this one. I don't think they can get this up in the northeast. Um, 
when I went to Massachusetts and New Hampshire and all that a couple of weeks ago, I didn't. There were no Aldis there. There's Aldi didn't go that far north. They have totally different grocery store chains than we do. They have no Publix. Pretty sure they don't have Ingles. They have Walmart. Uh, Kroger, mm, I didn't see any. I don't know if New Hampshire has Kroger. I, I would say probably not. Uh, I don't know for sure. You know, check me on that. But depending on where you are, I mean, in, in the U.S., just grocery stores and beer availability is just so different. You know, it, it just varies so much from state to state. So not everybody, you know, you watch on YouTube can get what you can get and vice versa. A lot of times they can get what stuff you can't get. And it's just interesting and sometimes frustrating when you see stuff they can get that you can't and they see stuff you can get. But it's interesting. I mean, it's cool to see, you know, what different parts of the country can get different beers, different craft breweries, and, you know, what's more popular and what's less popular, stuff like that. So it's cool. It's interesting. The mouthfeel is light, crisp. You get a little hop zing. Kind of like Heineken, like I mentioned with the nose. Kind of like Grosch. Kind of reminds me of that. It's got a little skunky flavor, a little Euro skunk hop uh, zap, so to speak, to the taste. Quite nice, quite refreshing. Um, if you're used to drinking Bud Light, you know, in the summer and the hot weather, this might throw you for a loop, you know. Compared to those beers, this might be a little step up or depending on your preference, it might be a step down. You know, a lot of people, they don't want something like this. They want Bud Light, Bud Light all the time. Other people might think this tastes like, you know, horse urine or whatever, who are used to drinking, you know, Imperial Stouts, and it's, it's not great. I mean, it tastes kind of like a low-budget Heineken or a low-budget Grolsch, just a little, 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 um, just a little too sour or something for me, but it's decent, it's drinkable, you know, it's got flavor, it's crisp, light and refreshing. I'll go 86 out of 100, you know, a B, solid B. It's good. It's not great. Again, it's got a little kind of funkiness to it that I'm not a huge fan of, but it's still a good beer. It's still drinkable. B is fair. I like it. You know, this is, I believe, the last one in the six-pack. So, you know, obviously I didn't hate them if I drank it all. Yeah, 86 out of 100 for the Wernis Gruner. Or Vernus Gruner, German Pilsner from Aldi. That'll be it for this review. Cheers and thank you for watching.